Hey guys, how's it going? Remington here, and today I just unveiled a new template for anybody to use. It's a sweet audio visualizer. I made it in Adobe After Effects. So I'm going to be teaching you guys how to customize this, and I'm going to go over all of the customizable features. So hopefully you'll learn something from it. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Woo! So when you first download it, it'll be in a zip file, so we're going to have to open that up with either WinRAR or 7-zip or just the Windows um, zip file explorer thing, I don't know what to call it. And then we get this folder called Free Audio Visualizer Template, open it, oops, it opened on my other monitor. Anyway, it should open like this, and you can see I have footage, which doesn't really matter at the moment. Uh, free audio visualizer template and then we have this txt file we can just ignore everything just open the audio visualizer template and it might take a second to open alright so here we can see it's already opened we can kinda scrub through the timeline it is a higher quality thing so it does take a while to render um, it took me about three hours to render so we can see we have a couple different compositions here. We have render, song info, artist info, and artist info, and full visualizer. So um, if we want to replace the song in the background, for example, I'm gonna go ahead and find just a random song. Uh, let's do virtual riot free song um, lunar. Here we go. So we'll download this. And download track. Oh, really? Damn it, if we do that. It's not cool. Let's see, we'll see if I can find a different one. There we go, SoundCloud. Perfect. Download. Alright, so we've got this. I'm gonna drag it off to my desktop. You can't see because it, it, uh, it is on my other monitor. And let's find a background image. So let's look up background image whatever um, say that we want we want a nice big image so let's use this this uh, nice blue color we'll save this save it as save it to my desktop and we'll just call it, yeah we'll just leave it as it is all right so it's downloaded and now in order to replace these what we have to do is we have to come up to where it says background and song uh, since we want to replace the song I'm gonna right click on the song click replace footage with a file and then we're going to go to where we saved it I save mine on the desktop and we see virtual riot and mittens is angry and uh, it does adjust the song length if the song is too long if the song is longer than the song that was already in here you're going to have to drag this out it'll look kinda like this and you'll have to drag both of these out um, when we're looking at uh, the background it's pretty much the same thing we just right click the background go to replace footage with a file and then we can see recycled texture background by Sandy and you can see we put it in it's a little bit small so I'm gonna press click it and press s to grab the scale tool and I'm gonna scale it up just a tad and I'm actually not really liking that too much unless I suppose it serves for this purpose. If you do want to change it so the center thing is more solid, we can right click it, go to blending mode, and we can change it to a different mode. I'm going to change mine to, well, we'll go through a couple of them. That was overlay. Another thing you can do is just set it to uh, be the normal layer blending and then press T while selecting it and drag the opacity down a little bit. That's what I'm going to do with this project since it is a little bit funky. I'm going to drag the opacity down to 65% just so we can kind of still see through it but still have that sort of transparency effect. So the next thing we need to do is uh, change the name and artist of the song. So come to the song info tab right here and we can see we have this thing called name. This is the name of the song. So 
There's this layer called master text and then there's a bunch of layers under it. All we need to edit is the master text. So the name of the song is Mittens is Angry. And you can see it is a bit big so we can we can select all the layers. Actually, when you get this, I'm going to change this right now. But when you get this, they all should be parented to master text. That way if you scale master text at all, we don't have to worry about it. it looks like the uh so we'll change this to speed 150. This is uh if you have a longer song name like this, you're gonna have to change the text size down a little bit so it doesn't get cut off by the mask. And you will have to change the text size of all layers, unfortunately. But that's just how After Effects works, so it's the best I could do. Alright, so there we go, we got Mittens is Angry, and then we can go to Artist Info, and we can change the artist to Virtual, right? And we can also see that if we kind of scroll back to the beginning of the timeline, we can see it fade in. And then we have the full visualizer, and you can see that it kind of overhangs it right now, which is kind of bad, so what we can do is we can come up to the title part. Um, oh, and... Uh, if you do need to edit any of the other things, they're in here, so we'll need to edit title for this, so we'll open up title, and then we'll resize song info, so that it'll fit, oops, close title on accident, maybe you go 50%, no, that's too small, 60 it just takes a lot of tweaking, 70, 70 looks good. And I will change the artist info to be a bit smaller too, just so it's a little bit less than it. And then we can scooch them together. Just like that. Now if we go into the full visualizer, oops, we're going to have to move that down a little bit more. Just to make it look nice. There you go, Mittens is Angry Virtual Riot, just like that. So let's say you want to all of a sudden change the center color of the circle. We can open up the... Um, Layers of the visualizer tab and we can see these shape layers and uh, so the first shape layer is the yellow it's like this is the top this is the yellow these two are the yellow so we have the visualizer which is the actual visualizer so let's say we want to change this to red for example you can see there's the inside color and the outside color so if we want to change this to red we grab the inside color change it to a nice red choose that as our red and then we can just grab the eyedropper tool and grab our previous color over here then we have to change the shape layer too up here we can see the fill just grab that red from the corner Oops, looks like I grabbed the wrong red that again. there we go and now we can see we have red in the middle instead of yellow but we can also do this with the other layer as well However, I'm not going to do that. So now if we look at the render tab right here, we can see Mittens is Angry by Virtual Riot. And you can actually see that gray is kind of blending in. So I'm going to actually change that so it's more of a whitish color. I'm going to go like that light gray, light gray. And then once again, we have to change the shape layer underneath it too to match the color. Otherwise, we're going to get a funky looking final product. Now I have Mittens is Angry by Virtual Riot. <laughs> it's kind of funny. It looks like cat and Mittens is typically associated with a cat's name. And then once we have that done, we're going to have to create these amplifiers. Or not amplifiers. Ampl amplification. Well, something like that. I can't remember what it's called exactly. So we have Size Amp and Blur Amp right now. We're going to delete these. Just like that. And you'll see we get two errors right here. Um, and all of a sudden our song... Or our image loses all of its cool bounciness and stuff what we have to do is we have to open up song base just like this just click on it and then right click on the timeline right where it's selected go to keyframe assistant and then convert audio to keyframes and I'll say analyzing audio give it a second and we get this thing amplitude that's what it's called so we get this audio amplitude I'm gonna rename this one to size then we're going to copy and paste it with control C and control V to duplicate it and then I'm going to rename this one Blur. So now I have Size and Blur. So if we open up Size and we open up Blur, and we go to the Effects, we can delete Left Channel and Right Channel in both of them. Delete Left Channel 
and right channel. And then we're going to go ahead and open up the both channel option right here. And we have this slider option, right? And it is animated. So we're going to hold Alt on our keyboard and click the little stopwatch, which will bring up this little menu down here. And I have the code over here that we're going to put into this box. Um, since this is the size, uh, we'll put in this code. This will be down in the description of the video. So we have linear and then value 0, 12, 100, 120. I'm not going to explain it. I'm sure you can find plenty of tutorials online explaining how this code works. Then we're going to do the same thing for blur, except, so like, I'll click this, uh, the stopwatch. And we're going to paste in a different line of code, which will also be in the description. Just like that. And now if we look at it, you'll notice that the slider values change. It's about like 100. 115 for the top one, and it's between 6 and 10 for the bottom one. Um, so now what we need to do is we need to come to the full visualizer, and we have this scale option right here, and you can see it's red. So we need to alt click the stopwatch, and then we need to alt click the stopwatch again, and we get this little, uh, this is called the pick whip. It's like a little swirly thing. Click and drag all the way down to the size thing. Under size, go to slider, and there should be a little box around slider when you do this. Release it and now the size is synced up. So now you can see if we kind of scroll through the timeline that the size is changing. And then we also have to go into the effects tab and under CC radio blur we have amount and amount is also red so we need to alt click it twice and then we need to grab our pick whip drag it all the way down to the bottom underneath the blur and attach it to the slider there and now that added the blur effect on so now we can minimize all this and if we scroll through we can see when it gets around the drop I'm actually not sure that there you can kind of see the drop there we can see we get this nice blur nice distortion and it looks really really awesome so I hope this tutorial helped you guys if you have any questions or need any help customizing this uh, visualizer template please just leave a comment I'll try and help you as much as I can because I love having people use my stuff so thank you guys for watching and remember to leave a like and if you want more awesome templates like this be sure to hit subscribe so see you guys later adios